how's it going? My name is Louise and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're not already subscribed, get down there now and subscribe. Uh, hit the like button and also leave comments if this video is handy, if it's helpful or if you have any questions. All right, so what am I talking about today? This video is gonna be all about skincare and the one ingredient that you need right now in your skincare routine, the regime for every day, go to or even just a booster every now and then. Just as a disclaimer, this is not, you know, I'm not sponsoring anything. This is from the sea. So if I'm sponsoring anything, I'm sponsoring the sea. <laughs> so this is actually a type of seaweed, which is called sea moss, and it's derived from the Atlantic Ocean. So let me just... Okay, so this is a 25 gram, a very nice like amount, a 25 grams of dried sea moss. Probably thinking, what the hell is sea moss? What's it gonna do for me? Okay, so sea moss is seaweed, but the properties of sea moss, you can drink it, ingest it, and it's unbelievable for the body. It's unbelievable, guys. I've been taking sea moss, I've been drinking it and using it in smoothies and shakes and teas and coffees and whatever for the past year and a half, two years, on and off. It's got 97 minerals out of 103. Your body needs minerals to keep going, keep active, and keep topped up. If you think of like your, your iPhone, it needs to have its battery recharged. The minerals in your body help do that for you. So if you're feeling fatigued, if you have stress, if you're feeling like low, your immune system's low, this is an amazing thing that you need to add to your daily life. But let me tell you that things stepped up for me Whew, with this. Four months ago, I had a huge outbreak of acne all over my skin, my jaw, all over my neck. It was just like, I had just gone back to being 14 again. I mean, as a grown ass woman, you think to yourself like, this is done. Like we're done, we're done with the acne. Like this isn't gonna happen. And then boom, just hit me like a brick wall. I'm not gonna lie, I was really upset. I was sad. I felt like ashamed almost. Like how is this happening now? And it can really affect your self-confidence, it can affect how you carry yourself, it can affect how you have your daily life. So if you've got like an event, obviously not right now, but even still, it can affect everything, you know? Um, so yeah, so it was a hard, let's say like 10 days, and I thought, okay, this is not going. So I need something that's gonna do just get rid of it now. So I was looking online, I looked at chemical pills, a Roaccutane, I looked at everything. Something clicked in my head and I thought, I'm gonna use CMOS on my face. I realized how incredible the properties of ingesting CMOS was that I thought, okay, so if it's gonna do that much for my inner body, I'm gonna see what it can do topically. <sighs> Whew, guys. Game changer, game changer. I did it for one week, so seven days. The first three days, I did it for 20 to 30 minutes in the morning and 20 to 30 minutes in the evening for three days. By the end of the third day, my skin had already done a 180. I mean, the complexion was different, the angry, aggressive redness, the spots, um, they had like dried up. I know it sounds like too much information, but whatever. It had like dried up and like just gone, like I don't know how it had gone, but they had. So overall, my skin felt like it was being healed, like it was healing in some way. I did it for the rest of the week. I did probably like 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes in the evening for the rest of the week. And by the end of the week, I looked on my skin and I just thought, holy skin gods, like thank you so much for this blessing. And I didn't change anything. I didn't change my diet because obviously a lot of the time it's hormonal. Skin changes can come from diet, it can come from lifestyle, but I didn't want to temper with anything. I wanted to see if this would do the job on its own. So I didn't touch my diet, I didn't touch my lifestyle. I left everything the same. Yeah, I mean, I was more shocked that this had worked and I hadn't done anything else. As uh, somebody that loves skincare products, 
Um, this cost me four pounds and this will last one month. So you have to cook it. So I'm gonna get into this now. You have to cook it and you have to store it in the fridge because it's a living organism. It's a living organism, guys. How incredible is that? Yeah, this will last me a month and I normally cook half of it and it lasts me two weeks. You don't wanna to cook too much and leave it in the fridge too long because it will go bad. Two weeks is the maximum amount of time I would use this for and leave it in the fridge. But what I have found is that you can have a teaspoon or a tablespoon every day for two weeks with half of this. Yeah, I mean, that is like, uh, I can't even do the math, but it's basically like free. So I'm gonna show you how to cook it and... Okay guys, here is my sea moss, which I have left out overnight. I leave it for 12 hours. I normally do it in the evening, let it soak, get in all of those nutrients expanding. And then in the morning, I am ready to go. So I rinse it out in the morning, making sure all of that salty water is gone. You don't want to be drinking that. It will make you very ill otherwise. Then what I do is I put the sea moss in a pan and I use my own water. So I don't actually drink tap water. So I use Evian. Let it sit there for 10 minutes on boil. So on the highest setting on your cooker and make sure that that water is becoming more of a gooey consistency. So as you can see, this is more of a jelly-like consistency and I let it cool down for one to two hours on its own. I then put it in the blender and make sure that all of the sea moss is completely blended. I don't want any signs of clumps or lumps as that is not nice as you're drinking your tea. And also it's good for your face to have a nice smooth consistency now we pour out the content and making sure it's all smooth it has a creamy texture and my sea moss at this time round was whiter than normal sometimes it can be a bit browner but any color is fine now you can see that the sea moss has been left in the fridge overnight so it has a jelly-like consistency which is exactly what you want and this morning I put it on my face and making sure it doesn't fall off your face because that can happen. Um, <laughs> but it goes on and it, it's nice and cool. It's refreshing. It's almost like the same kind of feeling as aloe vera. Um, I put it on with a makeup brush so it's nice and softly going on and I leave it on for again 20 to 30 minutes it will dry and when it dries your skin will feel tight so it's, it's it tightens your pores it tightens your skin and it feels really good so you just leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes morning and night as you can see throughout the week my skin complexion did a 180 the lightness of my skin changed, the texture of my skin changed, and just in general, the overall complexion of my skin had done a 180. And I was very happy, obviously, as you can imagine, I wasn't expecting such good results. So give it a go and see what works for you. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I really, really hope this works for you. Try it out, test it out, see what happens with your skin. See if even it changes after, you know, a couple days. It might take you a week, it might take you less, or it might take you longer. Just play around with it. I definitely would recommend if you have an event coming up and you know that you want your skin to have that extra, extra glow, extra, you know, just extra. You just want to be extra. This is definitely a go-to that I would recommend, highly recommend. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Leave any comments or questions and don't forget to subscribe now. Thanks, guys. Bye.